Hi, uh, my name is Ken Rivera. Uh, my report about the execution of Dr. Rosie Rizal. <clears throat> On December 13, 1896, 3 a.m. Rizal heard mass confess his sins and talk holy communion. By the 5.30 a.m., he took his last breakfast, after which he wrote his last letters for his family and his brother Pasiano. Rizal said, Now I am about to die, and it is to you I dedicate my last line, to tell you how sad I am to leave you alone in life. Burn, burden with the weight of the family and our old parents. At 5.30 a.m., Josephine Bracken arrived together with Rizal's sisters. Josepha, with tears in her eyes, bid him farewell. Rizal embraced her for the last time, and before she left, Rizal gave her a last gift, a religious book, Imitation of Christ, by Father Thomas Kimpis. Thomas Kimpis. By 6 a.m., as the soldiers were getting ready for the death march to Bagumbayan, Rizal wrote his last letter to his beloved parents. But my beloved fa father, pardon me for the pain with which I repay you for sorrows, for sorrows and sacrifices for my education. I did not want it, nor did I prefer it. Goodbye, Father, goodbye. At 6.30, a trumpet sounded at Port Santiago to signal the death march to Bagumbayan. <coughs> Rizal? Okay. To Bagumbayan. Rizal walked cal calmly with his defense counsel and to, to Jesuit Price. At his sides, he was dressed elegantly in a black suit black derby hat, black shoes, white shirt, and black tie. His arms were, were tied behind from elbow to elbow. There's a lot of spe spectators lining the street from Port Santiago to Bagumbayan. As he, we, as, as he was going through the narrow Postigo gate, Rizal looked at the sky and said, and said to one of the prices, How beautiful it is today! Father, what morning could be more serene? How clear is Corregidor and the mountains of Cavite on mornings like this? I used to take a walk with my sweetheart. While he was passing in front of Ateneo, he saw the college towers above the walls. He asked, Is that Ateneo? Father, his yes, replied to Christ. Rizal bid forward to his father's march. March and Villa Clara, and to his defender, Lieutenant Luis Tabiel de Andrade, although his arms were tied, he had firmly clasped clas their hands and farting. One of the phrases blessed him and offered him a crucifix to kiss. He requested the commander of firing squad that he be shot facing them. His request by denied for the captain had him take orders to shoot him, to shoot him at his back. A Spanish military physician, Dr. Felipe Ruiz Castillo, asked his permission to fill his pulse. He was amazed to find it normal, showing, showing that Jose Rizal was not afraid to die. The beat rappers of the drums fell the air. Above the drums beat, beats the sharp command, fire, was, uh, was heard and the guns of the firing squad barked. Rizal with supreme effort turned his bullet riddled right right body to the right and fell on the ground and, and, and fell on the ground in, with face, with face upward facing the, facing the more Facing the morning sun at exactly 7.3 a.m., Rizal shouted, Consumatum. Rizal shouted, Consumatum is. Before the, before the shot rang out, before the shot rang out, the hero's life indeed in the background could be heard, Viva España.
more is Tridoris on that faithful day. Rizal was 35 years, 5 months and 11 days old. I died just when I see the dawn break, thought the gloom of night, the herald, the herald the day. And if color lacking, lacking my blood, lacking my blood to short take, poured out at need for the daisy today with its crimson the walking ray. It is interesting to note that 14 years before his execution, Rizal predicted that he would die on December 13. He was then a medical student in Madrid, Spain. Martyrs are rare stars in the bus firmament of, of humanity. Every instance of Matridrum, Matridrum is distinct in magnitude and direction and the distinct in magnitude and direction indeed. Martyr, martyr, martyrs are the meteors of history. They flash across the sky and light the world, the world and in the process consume themselves. There are the person who is put to death or meets suffer greatly of other belief because of religion, other elements of ma matredom, our usefulness of life and dedication to a high purpose resulted was was an emotional event in our history as it as it produced a mar a martyr and resulted in some form of social change or transformation in our life as a people result was brought to the for sub subversion by the dominant political forces he represented a sector of society <coughs> which had begun to trouble and therefore constitu constituted, constituted a real threat to the existing social order source. That's all. Thank you.